Hello everyone, Monica here from Gerso Vintage and welcome back to another episode of Flipping Furniture. For today's video, I'm going to be flipping this beautiful 1990s console table that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, the post originally said $25, but when I got to the buyer's home, I realized that one of the legs was wobbly, so I was able to get $10 off of this uh, table and ended up paying $15 for it. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I promise you, you're not going to regret it. I have videos every week for you and if you like flipping furniture, this is the place for you. So as I mentioned it earlier, one of the legs was a little bit wobbly. So. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've had this table in my inventory for three months because I didn't realize how difficult it was gonna be to find a piece that would be similar to the one that came with the table to be able to put the leg back on. Fortunately, I was able to find it at Home Depot. We're gonna go ahead and start removing the hardware and for this I'm just using my regular screwdriver um, and don't forget that when you're removing any parts, any hardware, just put it in a separate container or a plastic bag in a place where you're not gonna lose the pieces. Once I'm done removing all my hardware, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning my piece. For this, I like to use a product called Crud Cutter. This is a degreaser and I do have some water on the side with a rag. That way I can go back and rinse my rag as many times as I need to. It is really, really important that you clean your piece because this way you're going to allow your primer and your paint to adhere better to the surface of your piece and not the dust. some of you reach out to me on my Instagram page and asking why I didn't release a video last Thursday and the truth is this week has been very difficult for me and my family my grandmother has been very very sick and if you guys go back to my short videos you can see that I was actually there last month to say my goodbyes to my grandmother she's been very sick and um, unfortunately she did pass um, and so it's just been really hard to focus and to want to be outside and work on my pieces but for those of you who reached out to me thank you so much for asking and I really appreciate you guys Once I was done cleaning, I let my piece dry and up next I'm going to start scuff sanding the entire piece. Now remember if you're doing any sanding on any of your pieces, it is recommended that you use a respirator so that you're not breathing in any of the small particles that come from sanding. Now for those of you who are new at flipping furniture, we scuff sand especially if the pieces are very shiny because we want to allow our primer and our paint to have something to hold onto. So we're going to go ahead and scuff sand the entire piece. After that I'm going to go ahead and clean it um, and start prepping it for primer.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let our piece dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying my hardware. For this, I'm gonna be using the tone Vintage Gold, and this is from Rust-Oleum. Now, I buy in bulk. It costs $18.13 if I buy in bulk, and this will get me six of them, which means I'm paying about $3 per piece. If you go to the Home Depot, you can get individual ones, but you're going to be paying about $7.50, something like that, $7.48 actually. Um, so it's really up to you if you're going to be doing this you know, as a business, I do recommend buying it in bulk. But I really love this color and it truly is that vintage gold and it goes well with my piece. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna start priming our piece. And for this, I'm gonna be using another um, Rust-Oleum product, and this is just a water-based primer. Let me know if you guys like me putting the images. That way you can just maybe take a screenshot if you wanna buy the same product. But just remember that I am always putting the links for the products I use down below in the description box. Um, this was my first time spraying my primer and it went well if you guys don't know um yari from lily moon vintage she has a really really good following on instagram and she's constantly just sharing all her ideas and sharing all her tips for painting furniture so if you want if you guys want to go check it out i am going to put her link down below and she's the one that basically told me how to do this, which was really easy. I had been really, really hesitant to spray my own primer with um, one of my guns just because I thought the cleanup was going to be really difficult. But this water-based product is wonderful for um, spraying with my pneumatic sprayer. For this transformation, I'm going to be using Dixie Belle paint and I'm going to be using a custom mix. This is 50% cotton and 50% burlap. It's a beautiful color, um, so you can see it on my finger. It's really, really pretty and it's super creamy. Again, you guys, the links for all these products are going to be in the description box. In the past few videos, you've seen me uh, brush on my paint, but for this transformation, I wanted to make sure I was spraying just because I wanted to make sure that at the end, I was gonna have a very smooth texture um, and I didn't want any brush strokes to be showing. Okay, so let's talk about the numbers for this piece. I paid $15 for it and my total investment is 35. I'm gonna be listing it for $60. I can bring it down to 140 if I get no bites, but I will not sell this for any less than 130 Now, for those of you who are new and who have not flipped furniture before, June is always a very slow month. So do not get discouraged. Um, people are usually just on vacation in June or they are spending their money elsewhere. After five different trips to the hardware store, I ended up finding the piece that I needed. Well, kind of. The black one is the one that I bought at Home Depot and it's a little smaller than the other one. So I'm really hoping, crossing my fingers, that it is going to work. Because if it doesn't work, then I have nothing else to put as legs for this piece. As you can see here, obviously it did work, which I was very relieved to see that it was working. By the way, my bird is going crazy, so if you guys hear him while I'm doing this voiceover, I apologize. Anyway, so after my last coat of paint, I went ahead and used an ultra fine 3M sanding pad just to smooth out any roughness and to make sure that I have a really smooth finish. 
Once I'm done sanding between coats, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my top coat. For this, I'm just using Verithane Poly. It's what I've used in my other videos, and um, if I'm not using a wax, I'm usually using this. And for those of you who are asking about what's the finish, it's satin. I really like using satin. I know some people don't like it. Um, Verithane also carries the product in matte if you want it no shine at all. So I ended up applying three full coats of poly and this is it you guys don't forget to sand between your coats of poly just to make sure that you have a very smooth finish um, before i show you the final result i am going to show you what this piece looked like please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and give me a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to put your comments down below and i hope you guys enjoy this furniture flip i'll see you guys next time bye bye